Hi there, welcome back to Gev A4 Gaming. Um, today I'm going to do a pickup video on the games that I've picked up during June. Uh, obviously with lockdown it's been a little bit difficult to like, be going out to the shops and getting any uh, games at all. So all these games are from Friends, eBay and Facebook. Uh, so the first one here I want to give a big shout out to Peter Donoghue who I met on, I think it was Game Trader on Facebook. Super cool guy. Um, he hooked me up with Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube. Um, I did a trade with him. I traded him two Mega CD games because, quite frankly, I'm not going to be able to get a Mega CD because I think they're a bit too expensive. Maybe further down the line, I'll get a Mega CD console. Um, but this guy's really cool, really sound. Um, sorted me out with this game for two of my Mega CD games. Really nice guy to chat with, and if you ever come across him, definitely do business with him because he's really cool. Next up here from my friend Parker, he gave me this really cool Halo 5 tin. He gave me a couple of games as well. He gave me a FIFA 16, the PS4. He gave me Dead Space for the Xbox 360, which I'm playing just now and it's absolutely fantastic. Love this game. Can't put it down. And then he gave me Left 4 Dead 2 as well. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Um, and yeah, we'll be doing that pretty soon. Next up from my uh, other friend, um, Pushy. He gave me a couple of Wii games. He gave me Wii Play, which I think was really a lot of fun. I think it's um, a game that utilises the Wii Mote. I've not stuck it on yet, but that would be pretty cool for the for the wee man to play as well. He gave me Michael Jackson, the experience. Um, I have played this at his house before. Like, it's a good game, really fun. And then he gave me a DJ Hero. I don't have the DJ decks for it, but I like the guitar heroes in the rhythm games, so that could be pretty cool too. And he gave me this an absolute cracker, which is the last story on the Wii. Unfortunately, he doesn't know where the game is, but just to have the case and the book, hopefully I can pick up the, um, the last story, even disc only somewhere. Look forward to playing it once I finally get it. Next couple of games here I got from Facebook Marketplace for a pound each. I paid for the um, postage as well, so maybe seven to eight pound I paid for these. Three RPGs for PS2, which is Summoner 2. Uh, I've got the first one, so it's pretty cool to have the second one as well. This one here is Ligaya, Ligaya Joe Saga 2. So it's a JRPG, and I think that's going to be pretty cool once I get into it. And then this one here, I've heard a lot about, I've not played, but I was really excited to pick it up. It was only a pound, like I said, and then a couple of pounds for the postage. But it's Champions of Norath, and I'm waiting for this lockdown to finish so I can maybe go through it co op with my with my brothers if he wants to come through and play it with us. Next is another couple of Xbox games I've got here. Picked up from I think it was eBay, six pounds it cost me in total, postage and everything. So it was only like two pound then postage was three pounds and something. So we've got Max Payne 2, which is a great game. We've got an only on Xbox game here, Mech Assault. The uh, Lone Wolf, Mech Assault 2. two. Uh, Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow. And then we've got Blood Omen, Legacy of Kane. Sorry, Blood Omen 2. I remember the first one on the PS1, I had that back in the day. It was pretty cool, maybe I was a bit too young for it back then, but to get the second one, I'm quite excited about playing that one as well. The last pickup for this month was a Father's Day gift. Very controversial. Um, a lot of hate going about this game just now. Personally, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think if you played the game all the way through, I think it's difficult to see how they could have took the story. And, uh, it's just top class. Last of Us Part 2. Absolutely loved it. I get why people hate it. Um, when I got to the said point, I'm not going to spoil anything, but when I got to the said point as well, I was kind of 
this happened, I didn't want to do it anymore, but once you actually play through the game, um, it opens up and you learn the story and everything, it's just fantastic, so well put together, storytelling is immense in it, um, and I don't think it deserves any of the hate, so don't believe any of the hate, get it, give it a go, play it all the way through, it's absolutely stunning. Anyway, thanks for watching, that was my pickups for June 2020, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.